It's your girl Misty Blanco live on What's Good Fridays at Ramez Studios, the music plugs. You know how we doing. Why do I like using Ramez Studios? Um, the level of professionalism, um, the level of clarity here, the level on how they treat the clients, how they treat our creative energy, our juices, everything. I just love this place. So, from mysterious Misty Blanco, she got a statement. Oh man, she's healed, she's better, she's ready. The creativeness, the storylines, you, you know, just, just expect movies. Everything's going to be a, a, a movie. Um, it's going to be an experience. Misty Blanco is an experience because, let me explain Misty Blanco, all right? So, mysterious, right? When you think about mysterious, you think of uh, that, that voice. That, uh, you feel that, that, that dark. That, like, you feel me like that. That, right? Misty Blanco is, Misty is short for mysterious, right? So we need to shorten it up, make it a little cute here, you know, because when you have rank in the industry, you can do things like that. You know, first you gotta earn people to like your first name. Blanco means white, it's purification. So I purify myself, you know? When you got the yin and the yang, the yin and the what is it? Yin and the yang, the yin and the yang. Mysterious is the dark, and you got the light, and you put it together around it. I'm ready. I don't want to beef with nobody. I have no, no, no. I don't knock off crowns. You don't do that. So I just want to create. I'm debating, like, uh, the name of my album, I was thinking some fly stuff like Oomtie. Y'all love that? Oomtie. So, I'm Muslim too, you know. Um, I'm a Moor, you know, so uh, Oomtie means sister. You know, like, I'm thinking of going like that way, like, that's my sister instead of going like, sis, let's, let's get some knowledge to this. Where did we get sis from? You know, let's go back to our, our original language, you know. You don't have to be Muslim to say Uti. So, and I'm thinking of some, you know, I might garb up, you know, and alhamdulillah. Well, you can find me on Instagram. You could go on, what's that, iTunes? You could go on, no, no, don't do SoundCloud. Um, you could go on YouTube, but, you know, follow me really on Instagram. Mysterious underscore Misty Blanco because, oh, and my website, because I'm gonna have an app. You know, it's time for people to follow the Misty TV app. Have that created. That's gonna be a land of its own. I'm trying to tell y'all it's gonna be a land. Be prepared for the act coming soon. This is the side that I've been begging for somebody to ask, you know? A lot of times people always dwell on how I was introduced to my profession and not dwell on who I am as a person. You know, situations isn't who I am. Situations is what God gave me, you know. And I remember, if I can just briefly speak about certain things, everything in my life really makes sense now, you know. But going through it, it did not make sense. God did give me music. God gave me the wisdom that sometimes I don't even know where it's coming from. I just get it in my gut, especially when I meet an artist now. You know, he just do this little thing. And I actually can see this person where they're gonna be. Um, but to get that gift, it was actually a journey. To get that gift, 
the person who took advantage of me at the age of eight on my eighth birthday um, actually is the one who lured me with music because we weren't able to listen to secular music in our home. So he used to always listen. And you know, if I could, Sade, that's who he used to play all the time. You know, something so beautiful, a voice so beautiful, you know, helped me through my dark times. You know, like listening to Sade helped me know how to remove myself from situations and listen to the melody of God. Because I was raised in the kingdom all, so you know God on a different level. Because it's all God, no matter what you call him, you know. Um, being in foster care, I was given so many masks, if I can, I have like, lack of better words, you know. You, you, you in a home and you want them to like you. You want them to love you. You want them to see you. And people didn't see me. All they cared about was the check, the money, you know, their reputation. And I'm not going to say they didn't grow to love me because I would be sitting here lying. Because in the midst of all that pain, I got education. You know, I got God. You know, the people who you know, violated, still gave me God, because God knew that I was gonna need him on my journey, you know. Um, school, I got into talent show, and I'll never forget, I got in so much trouble for the talent show, because um, I lied for the music business. <laughs> you know, I, I should have known I was gonna be a negotiator then, you know, but, I took a chance, I got in so much trouble. Um, my foster mother, I was a straight A student, but to get my free time, I used to lie to her and say, in order for me to keep my straight A's, I need to stay after school for tutoring, but actually I was staying after school rehearsing for the talent show that was coming up, and I actually was in the fifth grade. And I'll never forget, I did TLC, What About Your Friends? And oh man, y'all should have seen it, right? I got all the way down on the ground and stuff, like, in it, you know, got a standing ovation. And for the kids that may be listening to this, you know that feeling when you're, you know you ain't, you know. Everything goes so good and then you get caught. <laughs> but it's like the double jeopardy of it all was, I'm, I didn't know I, I was doing it for the right cause. Freedom, um, the room to speak, so. I never forget, I get, I get off the stage, the parents gave me a standing ovation. Next thing you know, my little sister came down the aisle, the, 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 the aisle I mean, she came down the aisle. And I was like, what you doing? Because she's supposed to be at home, you know what I'm saying? She said, ooh, you're in trouble. And I was like, you're trouble. I said, where mama? She was like, did I come up with mother mom? She's like, she in the back room, she watched the whole thing. And I thought she would be like, you're so talented. No, I got in so much trouble because it was taken away from my duties at the Kingdom Hall at a young age. You know, I had to keep my head straight. I had to be the child that was even outstanding for teenagers, you know, and I just wanted to create. But they opened that door because, again, God in the Kingdom Hall was in theocratic ministry school. We we're doing talks all day. I mean, writing talks, dramas. Um, Kingdom Hall was really a deep science of, of, of religion and creatively on how they explain God. So they gave me that, you know? And got in talent shows and end up homeless. It's crazy. My life is crazy. And um, make a long story short, I remember, and shout out to Diddy if you if you ever come across this, this interview. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if I could say one thing to P. Diddy, you know that prayer that you have as an executive, that you meet that one person that you change their life. And sometimes, me sitting in the executive seat, I understand him more than he knows now. Sometimes you have to make the right decisions for the business. It doesn't, it, it, people look at 
puffy as a person who's out for money or out for gain. But when you understand both sides of the fence, then you can see the whole person. And I was able to cuss out the publicly on lack of understanding, on lack of communication on my end um, and letting people know that I just was afraid of success. This was that simple because I was taught success is keep your eyes, stand up right, you, don't, you know what I mean? God and you can't have the finer things because it brings certain energies, you know? So Diddy, God Diddy, God used Diddy for an orphan in Detroit, you know? It was amazing, amazing my life, been amazing. And um, I never forget. And thanks for coming to Detroit, by the way. You touch so many people, yo. I tell you, you know, people talk to Diddy and look at Diddy as this. He just want greatness. God created him. You know, he seen me. He actually was on vacation. I had auditioned, and it rained that day. It was it was crazy. It's it it crazy. That story is crazy. And I remember when I got up there and performed and Harv Pierre and them was looking and it's like, oh my God, stop. You know, and I'm like, what's going on? The video that I auditioned with, they hurried up and sent it to Diddy. He was actually on vacation and he seen it. He said, you know, I like that girl, Kimberly Mysterious Burt. She kind of sounded like Scarface. And for him to go through so many people and to, that I stuck out like that, I should have thanked God for that. There was people around me that were jealous of my blessing and spoke me out of my blessing. And that's what y'all seen. So for those who's watching the Misty TV firm, what I'm about, yes, I am about mentorship. I'm about loyalty, I'm about family. I'm about sisterhood, I'm about brotherhood. You know, I'm about family. Like, if the world only knew, the separation, even with me amongst my children, just to be a mentor to others, you know. But God is amazing. The Misty TV firm, I, I birth stars. That's who I am. And I'm not perfect, but I am the one that God used a lot of times to express mistakes. A wise person learns from one who makes mistakes. So for the wise artists, when you meet me, I'm gonna straighten you up for your time. You don't be like me hoping Diddy hears you and say, you know, thank you, you know? For all the artists who dealt with Diddy, have y'all ever said thank you? You know, being a manager, you make 20% of what an artist makes, 20%. That means if you got $200, I got 20. And you work like a slave. You gotta make phone calls. You gotta make people like you. People don't even think about that. People don't think about what was on Diddy back to get where he was at. Humbling himself, going to get co coffee for the great Andre Harrell, rest in peace. And because of that Diddy, I am sitting here, grown, mature, still talented, still, crazy <laughs> but with sense I don't come to artists for your money God takes care of me I just want you to be great I'm not here for that let's be great people that's why I hope so because it's been a journey I got locked up uh, just recently I fell out with my son and if my son could watch this I love you Mike Kell but mommy understand pain and may God heal what's going on with us you know but I got a journey and it's hard sometimes when God gives you a journey and a mission you know, you know when you think about Jesus now I understand when he was 
in that forest when he said, plead fast this cup. You know, I feel like that sometimes. But I love you. I love all the artists that was once where I, I was. And for all the legacies and the giants that I will meet, I love you. And just for the regular person that's around that just needed to hear that.